The market's moving very, very fast, and scale is going to matter. And so as we look at our clients and you look at FIS, we've really got two very good companies coming together here. We're going to be able to accelerate our growth as a company, so it's a pivot to growth for us on a combined basis. We'll do $12 billion in revenue and growing 6% organically and producing $5 billion of EBITDA. But the real story here is how we reach end-to-end -end from the payments ecosystem back into the funding source and really not only power our financial institutions with new ways to drive their revenue, but how do we increase the reach of WorldPay through their e-commerce assets. So it's a really interesting combination of two great companies with non-overlapping solutions coming together to drive the market forward. Uh, in terms of that need for, for scale, uh, who do you see most recently as your, as your biggest rivals? You've got the big banks now investing a huge amount into technology themselves and also fellow fintech payment companies the likes of PayPal that have grown a lot which is, is posing a bigger threat to you? Well I don't know that any one uh, competitor is posing the biggest threat but I think you're exactly right everybody is bringing scale to this market to financial services and it's going to require scale of like an FIS to compete and help our clients to be able to compete in the future. And so whether that might be PayPal, whether that might be the large financial institutions, there's a lot of people investing in this space. We're really dealing with a lot of modernization and a lot of innovation going on in the industry today. So driving the necessary capital infusion and scale necessarily to allow our customers to compete is going to be very important, but it's a very competitive space. So we'll see competition coming from the large scale providers. We'll also see competition coming from new disruptors entering the space. So uh, we're, we're looking forward to combining the two companies and really forming the future of finance and commerce. Some folks on Wall Street, Gary, think that you have a heavy lift in front of you because you're not just integrating WorldPay, but also Bantiff and WorldPay just closed the, their own sort of combination in January of 2018. Synergy is coming in much less than expected. So are you, are you merging three companies here? No, we're really not. You know, it's an interesting point. Obviously, as you can imagine, is I, I've actually known Charles and the team for the better part of a decade. We've worked together very closely over time. You've got to, in order for these things to come together, you've got to find good cultural alignment. You've got to find good value creation. And frankly, timing's key. So as you would expect, we watched very closely as WorldPay and Vandiff came together and been very impressed with their process. As we went through due diligence, we looked at their integration and where they are on their plan. They're wrapping up and rolling out their new platform in the UK and Europe uh, midsummer. They're moving into their new data center well on path and have already started that migration. You look at what they've done in the US, they're well down the path and close to completion there. So we feel very good that actually the WorldPay van of integration is really materially behind them. It's now an opportunity for our two companies to come together and, and continue to increase that value. Because we've got complementary solutions and not a lot of overlap, it's not a very, going to be a very heavy lift for FIS and WorldPay to come together. As I said, really a pivot more towards organic growth and we're excited about that. So we focused on 400 million of expense cost downs, but really focused on the 500 million of revenue synergies that we're going to generate over the next three years. So if you look over that three year period, we'll be producing about 700 million of EBITDA to the bottom line, accelerating our growth rate from 6% organic day one, moving up that curve from yeah. six to seven to actually by the end of three years, eight to 9% organic growth. So we're excited about the combination. Gary, just quickly, both uh, yourselves and WorldPay were spun out of established banks in the US and the UK respectively. I mean, particularly on the UK side, since WorldPay was uh, mandated by the government that RBS had to, to sell it. Do you, do you think uh, the likes of RBS and the UK government will be ruining the day they sold these uh, fintech companies? 
Oh, that's hard to judge. Uh, you know, uh, I think when you look, the industry's moving very rapidly. A lot of technology companies have come out of banks historically and done very well. You know, we think this combination is going to really be a great differentiator for our shareholders, for our clients, uh, and so for our employees. So I think, uh, you know, I think these combinations make sense, and, and I don't think people look back on where the, where the original assets started. Gary, thanks for joining us.